Hey guys, welcome to Red Blooded Reviews. Uh, this is my chop saw. I've had it for about three years. It actually went out on me. Uh, this thing seen rain, sleet, or snow, but it's always turned over. Uh, the bearing or something, or the little worm gear in there, whatever, went out on me. But apparently Derek thought that was good enough for him to buy one. So, I went and bought one. Pretty much the same exact saw. The uh, handles are different. I'm sure the part numbers are probably a little different, but they're the both three and a half horsepowers. And uh, besides this tape right here, we haven't opened it. This is, uh, normally it goes for $180. Uh, I got it on sale for uh, $77. I thought it was a pretty damn good deal and I needed one at the time. I didn't want to spend the $200 for a Makita or something, so went, went, went the cheap route. But his lasted him a while, so I thought I'd, I'd try one out. Yeah, I mean, I, we, I've done uh, the Walt, uh, Makita and stuff. They all pretty much last the same length. This one's a little bit cheaper builds. You're, you know, you are going to take a chance of, uh, when you buy this. But, I mean, 77 bucks got it on sale. You know, this will pretty much do the job of, you know, using it, what, two or three times a week, maybe? Yeah. Um, first off is the owner's manual. I mean, it's basically seven languages of plugging in to pull the trigger. What I don't get is right here. He's cutting metal on a wooden table. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. <laughs> He's cutting metal on a wooden table. Uh, of course, they sell the wooden table. They don't sell metal tables, I guess. So yeah. this is. Uh, it says it's uh, three and a half horsepower, fourteen inch, uh, fifteen amp motor, and uh, you can set set your depth and set your angle. Yeah, it's got a, almost uh, all of them do that. It's got a one inch arbor, so you can pretty much use any of these fourteen inch blades for one inch arbor. Oh, and um, another thing is it does not come on, come with a, a, a blade. A blade. That's what one thing I didn't really didn't really get is why you're gonna sell a, a 14 inch uh, cutoff saw without a, a blade. Yeah. But, uh, anyways, uh, you can usually get a five pack for ten bucks. I mean, two bucks a blade. That's not too bad. Uh, I still need to replace mine. I'm wanting to kind of just save up for the. Uh, the uh, carbide blades. And anyways, the uh, drill comes with a few. Sp oh, this is actually very surprising here. This thing actually comes with extra brushes. That right there is a big surprise that I would never have thought actually came with this thing. Here, in this little baggie, are extra brushes. So apparently, they are. You know, determining that this thing is going to last a long time, and then and it comes with your tool. Yeah. To, to take your blade, put a new blade on. Which I like this one. Uh, most of the other ones come with it. Looks like a, a damn. Uh, what the? Most of them are uh, Allen wrenches. This one's an uh, Allen wrench. The ones my boss uses. He, his are. Uh, they look like uh, spark plug deals to take spark plugs out. Oh yeah, yeah. Makita's are like that. I think that's just a like Okay, so in the comparison of uh, between these, the body looks the same. This piece right here is a little different. Of course, the handle's different. I do like this. I know uh, Makita takes a chain, which is kind of, hey, the chain, unless the chain breaks, I guess you just add a chain. But I do like this little, you just push the button in, pull it out, it raises up. Uh, okay, I see that they got rid of the Allen head yeah. on this one. This one has an Allen head. This one actually has a just a regular bolt. That's probably just uh, it's cheaper to do. Uh, to, but I, I, I am very surprised about the brushes. That is really cool. I don't remember if that came with brushes. But anyway, so on, your, uh, on your deal for your Makita, uh, they they have a uh, little I guess a little nut thing that you flip over. Yeah. And uh, I don't really like that. Sometimes it gets caught up and you can't you can't move it back and forth and you can't turn it. But uh, I like this this right here better than the uh, the Makita one. Which I don't know. We'll see how long it lasts. Well, it lasts me all my three years. What I like about this the most is you can let that down, you don't have to pull it up. You know it's always gonna be tight but you can always just flip that back, move that up, put your piece of metal in there and just shove it forward and you're good to go. It does do 45 both ways. Um, I mean, it does do 45 this angle, but unless you're really going to do some awkward cuts, it's usually you're only going to use 45 
going this way. And this is your uh, your depth setter, so you don't cut all the way through. Or uh, if you got too tall of a or your blade's too long, it so don't hit the yeah. whatever's underneath of it. Uh, I do like that little nut. Yeah, as far as I see, a lot of these parts are interchangeable. I'm just guessing this is a uh, an updated one. Uh, this switch on this one was kind of hard to mess with. You kind of had to pull back the thing and then click it. Yeah, this one, know. you just grab it. I don't know if I'm going to get used to this uh, handle like this since I've been using one with a handle like that for so long. Yeah, I actually prefer a handle like this. There was a uh, company I worked for had a Northern Tool one. And uh, theirs was like this, and you kind of hold your metal. You don't have to have your your wrist at an awkward angle. You just grab it and go down, and that's it. And then uh, I guess we can go ahead and just kind of plug it in, throw a blade on it, and uh, we'll make a quick cut on something we got around here. And uh, Let's see. the extension cord on here. All right, so we're just gonna start grabbing this uh, bolt. I pushed in the locking pin, lefty loosey, righty tighty, just normal procedures and stuff. Uh, I'm just going to put this regular blade in, the one actually that come off of that one when that one went bad. And uh, tell you what, I mean, for 77 bucks, you know, I'd probably rather get this and keep the 100 bucks because, you know, if you're going to buy something else, you're going to be spending the extra 100 bucks. No. We all can use extra hundred bucks. Yeah. Hundred bucks doesn't go very lot far in these days and times though. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm tightened up pretty good. We got it plugged in. Uh well, since he bought it, I'll let him pull the trigger first. See if she works. You got anything to put on it? Yeah, go ahead and grab us. Uh, play around with it, I'll get something. Yeah, it's 15 amp motor. It's a pretty big motor, man. All right, we got a three by three quarter inch. That's the smallest you can find. That's the smallest I can find, man. I, I only work with big shit. We'll play around with a half inch shit. All right, slam her down. I probably angle it away from the uh, Harleys and the camera. <laughs> cut on a wooden table. So don't get mad at us, get mad at uh, Central Chicago Electric. Uh, oh, there we go. Go ahead, flick her back. There you go. I think he gave up on us. It'll cut. <laughs> it will cut. Now I don't suggest y'all to... Uh... I think the reason why I flipped the breaker is because we used uh, too small of an extension cord. Yeah, we flipped, uh, we didn't blow the breaker at the, in the shop, we actually blew the, uh, it's one of those extension cords with the breaker on the plug. Oh, um, this one, I've run, awesome. you know those little uh, two-stroke generators you get at uh, Harbor Freight, sometimes you get them on sale for 89 bucks. I, I actually had a few of them, but I would run it on these, run these on them, and uh, I mean, you had a hard time blowing <laughs> You had a hard time blowing breakers and stuff, but you could cut with a small generator. This does pull a lot of 15 amps, but the 15 amp part is really just kicking in and under full load. Most of the time, you're not going to run more than 8, 9, 10 amps, you know, over normal cutting situations. And um, other than that, I think it's a pretty good saw, pretty good deal. Real good deal. Yeah, I mean, it's going to cut just as good. I mean, it's. I make pretty straight cuts with this. I mean, with a uh, with a uh, carbon blade, you're not going to really do a too straight of cut. They're always going to bend, no matter if it's Makita, DeWalt. Uh, Rigid makes a pretty good one. Uh, 
But like I said, Chicago Electric, three and a half horsepower, 14 inch. This is the industrial, so you need to have an industrial warehouse to keep this in. Uh, cut off saw, high performance 15 amp motor, adjustable depth stop, and guide plates adjust 45 degrees left and right. And it says it'll cut up to five inches. Cut up to five inch material, so you can't put any six inch, six by sixes or nothing in it. But uh, we, you, cut, we cut uh, eight inch seat carling all day long with one of these. It'll cut it, you just gotta move it around. Anyways, uh, item 6245, number nine. Uh, anyways, oh, quick release vice capability, seven to nine and a half inches, depending on what you're doing. I'm guessing the seven is the uh, length this way. Well, no, I'm guessing, you know, raise it back up. I know you already. I guess that is your seven and a half inches, and here's your nine. But, uh, Anyway, she'll do the job for what he does. And uh, Chicago Electric Harbor Freight, if you're watching, put a damn blade on your on your saw. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather come with a blade than me have to go spend the extra money on some blades. Even though I mean it's cheap, but it should still come with a. It costs what two dollars for a blade? Like put a two dollar blade in there. Yeah, I mean it costs me two dollars a blade. You can usually get but. Then it held a maybe fifty cents, um, but I mean, why why can't you just put a fifty cent blade on? I mean, I understand these blades don't last very long. You can get. It really depends on what you're cutting, but these are not these these blades can even last you a month on you know several cuts, or if you're going to be doing a lot of stuff, they may last you you know a couple hours. So I can understand that these ain't really a, these are really consumable blades, but still throw one in it. So when I buy this, I don't have to go buy blades. And if you're not, if it's that big a deal that you're not going to spend 50 cents, at least make this a little bit bigger. Yeah. Because we brought this home before we realized that this was, uh, well, this was off, but I just so happened to have an extra blade. I well, think that's why they make it so small, so when you get home, you have to go back up there and buy some blades, and then you might buy some other tools. Yeah. And that's just not fair. <laughs> that is just not fair. I spent enough money to help break. I don't need to be going up there multiple times just to get them. So, but anyways, guys, that's all we got for today. We'll see you on the next one. Yep. Yeah.